I need you to answer for yourself. What could the connection be between Elon Musk's V2 Starlink rockets? His V2 rockets. What could be the connection between those and China's social credit system? And what could be the connection between those two and the U.S.? I specifically, two going on three years ago, predicted accurately fucking everything we're seeing. Um, because I connected a few dots, did a tiny bit of research on the system as it was being set up, and I came to the right conclusions and put them all in a document called Panopticon Rising, uh, COVID-19 and the Elite Enslavement Plan. People called me insane for it, and they also called me insane for the pretext for it, which was a video on China's social credit system that I did for this very fucking channel. But guess who was right about all of it? Me. I was right. And I'll tell you why. Because Musk's Starlink, I was also called insane for saying that it would uh, be the pretext for re eliminating dead zones and assisting the elite in uh, their information control grid. Basically making it so that you can't go anywhere that's off-grid. You can't go anywhere that's out of signal range. And they can just place devices wherever they want. And that all they needed was something like a satellite network in order to make it all work. Because then they could put the satellites places set up 5G repeaters, and have the things reach your phone. Eventually, the satellites would just reach your phone. Well, it's coming at breakneck speed. Just the first part, you know, Elon hasn't even finished because he's a massive scammer and meets the markers for the Antichrist. He hasn't even fucking finished his first project in terms of Starlink. I know people who ordered it and paid for it fucking already who still don't have it yet. One of whom is the uh, editor for Agoras Nexus, and it severely holds him back from being able to do that. I guess Mexicans just par aren't part of Elon's vision now, fucking are they? Or at least maybe that one? So, let me just be specific here, super fucking clear, and say, I was right. But it doesn't mean that it's going to happen now, you know? It just means that we're on the incremental march to a, an apocalyptic, dystopian fiction tyranny. And people who talk about it with any level of accuracy and foresight are called insane. Now, what happened recently in China is that people had fucking, like, digital currency, cashless currency, exactly the stuff that I've been talking about for years, part of their 5G control grid. And for people who don't believe me when I say that it's a fucking 5G control grid, their fucking actual intelligence and, and like, you know, criminal justice system put out videos that said that the, the grid was run on 5G. And people still didn't say that that was fucking good enough. Um, I said that their grid would uh, used uh, fucking facial recognition um, and mobile cameras mounted to helmets and, you know, posted everywhere and anywhere they wanted, really, because it's a 5G device. And the whole point is that it's low latency. And you got all the fucking room in the world to post tiny little 5G devices to surveil anything you want, right? But you need total coverage to make that work. And how does that work? Well, 
things like Starlink come in, beam the internet to a uh, to a receiving station, which then repeats that uh, to a ton of different fucking places. It's not new either. It's just he he wanted to make it more ubiquitous and make the coverage more universal. And he wants to make it more and more universal because it's not quite universal universal enough yet. He needs V2 rockets. Sorry, V2 version. I'm So, China was already doing this. And then they uh, installed apps on people's phones that said, Hey, we want to keep you safe from COVID. Which was totally from irresponsibility from bats. And it wasn't from a lab. And anybody who insinuates that there might be something more to this or that they might be downplaying the results of something that they might have had something to do with, those people get to be censored and added to the pile. Uh, they were saying that, and you were allowed to use it to fearmonger in favor of this state, but you weren't allowed to say that maybe that was going to be the pretext to a form of social control that would be fucking used elsewhere. Well, Elon Musk is coming to save the day on that one. Uh, because guess what they did with their fucking system yet? Recently, they said, Oh, no, sorry, we, we, um, we, we totally won't use this for any sort of nefarious purpose. You, you be calm there and understand that we will only use this when we absolutely have to. Uh, if you, if you get too close to anyone we don't want you to be close to, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna take these apps and we're gonna shut off your money immediately. We're gonna turn your phone from green to red and you have to go inside and you can't do anything we don't tell you you can do. But we promise we won't use this for any sort of nefarious activity. And then wouldn't you know it, during some protests and shit recently, they started turning fucking phone reds. The phone's red. During some uh, economic downturn recently, they started turning turning some fucking phone red. Like, this is what I was talking about. They're turning phones red. Like, and by that, I mean they're t changing the icon on the phone app to red from green. And then your phone phone screen is red. And you can't do shit. And you lose all your money. Because their economy is not doing as well as they would have hoped. And guess the fuck what? That model can be used anywhere. It's a technocratic model in and of itself. Because basically the elites have been wanting an app and posting little cartoons and advertisements for an app for some time that says... Yeah, you, you know, you you got a little bit over your carbon limit. And now, Elon has all the fucking power in the world uh, to create the circumstances for this very thing. And guess what he's doing? Oh, shucks, oh golly gee, he's fucking doing that. Um, because he says that these V2 rockets will be able to go straight to your phone... Straight to your phone. And there will be no dead zones anywhere. There will be no spot they can't put a 5G device or a device that receives that sort of signal because it will be ubiquitous and everywhere. Guess who fucking thought of that being a problem? And thought of that being connected to social credit scores. Huh! <sighs> Me! Hmm. Okay, so, and also, the CBDC is being rolled out in uh, America. They're planning on that right now. There are, like, 23 countries already in on CBDCs. They're forming an international network of central bank digital currency lovers. And they just fucking love when people don't talk about this shit. They're doing all of this right now. They still have ID2020 website up. You can go there and see that this is what they've been wanting to fucking do. 
you can go to all the places I sourced and see that they're doing all the stuff that I said they were going to fucking do. And to think that all these things aren't connected, naivete of the highest fucking order. Because one of the only reasons Elon is still ticking is because of the state. And to think he doesn't owe them any favors in return for them helping his business not go bankrupt by forcing regulatory credits out of competing businesses, by subsidizing uh, his facilities, by uh, allowing him to use theirs uh, in the form of launch facilities paid for by tax. He's not a fucking free marketer, you cunts. I was right about him from square one, and this is a key building block in the, th the other thing I was right about, which is that these apps that they have on everybody's fucking shit now, those can be used to do jack anything they fucking want. And this internet can be used anywhere they fucking want. Everything that I said was possible is now being built. So I would like it if people would look into these things. I will link some articles in the description. And y'all can go click those articles if you want. Because I'm kind of sick of this whole thing where I, uh, I make long-ass articles and really complicated ideals and people don't even read them. And then they call me insane. And I don't make rent. So let's 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 just put that aside for right now. The whole me being insane thing and say he might be right because the things he's been saying have been happening. Um and we might not like Elon Musk as much after we look into some of this stuff, especially after he puts out the article including the part about Elon Musk's technocratic grandfather. You know, maybe there's a fucking problem here. And the people calling it out shouldn't be suppressed. But hey, that's just a theory. An anarchist theory. No, I'm not going to start doing that. I just need to get things like this off my chest. Because he said that on August 25th. It's been three days since he admitted that the purpose of his internet is to mean that there will be no dead zones so that it can go directly to mobile devices. And that sounds fucking awesome to people. Dude, I can play Rage Shadow Legends uh, in the middle of the wilderness instead of appreciating nature? I can be constantly plugged in? Well, no, you argue. Uh, nobody plays Rage Shadow Legends. And you're right. So, um, just, you know, I can admit I was wrong about that. Except that, you know... The sarcasm should be obvious. But, like, let's be clear. The dystopia is being built. And one of the things that MetaGuy, fucking Facebook, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, was talking about on the Joe Rogan fucking experience was the fact that the whole point of Meta is that you can be anywhere. Which means that you can be in the shitty-ass, uh, shit-ass environment uh, that, that's being built. And you just put on the fucking headphones... And, and you're supposed to be able to see, you know, whatever you want, forget where you are, and stop being miserable. And certainly don't protest. And certainly believe everything we pump into this thing and tell you is happening. Because you don't have to go outdoors anymore. You don't have to go outdoors. You don't have to verify facts. You don't have to have physical meetings with physical friends. Stay indoors. Pump it into your eye sockets. Do it, fucking slave. That's what they're telling you. And it's going to come to a point with the AI stuff, all this stuff, all this meta stuff, that basically they're going to build copies of you like they're planning to with Somnium. And the Maven Project is going to give the Pentagon rights to facial recognition shit. And hey, maybe this is a fucking problem. And maybe it's a problem because, like I said before also, and got called insane for, 
they're going to be able to get you to believe whatever they want about whoever they want because people will be so used to accepting that this stuff is real that they will forget that there might be a reality that is being told otherwise by, you know, reality. And, just to make matters a little bit more worse, let's just remember that the same person putting these devices in the sky to mean no dead zones is also the person who wants wireless devices connected to wires in your brain for the purposes of input-output. So maybe, hmm, maybe this guy is bad news for privacy, freedom, autonomy, and, like, other stuff. Shucks, that would be bad. It would be bad if I were right. Feel free to ignore me and don't share this video and definitely don't smash the fucking state.